And hello and welcome to the second edition of the Rangers Coaches Show. I'm Justin Adams along with the, what I would say the godfather, how about that? The volleyball coach, Frank LaVricia and coach, Went two and two in the Colorado Premier Challenge, four and four overall. Got a lot of great things that happened. Um, beat a ranked opponent as well. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let's go and start off with your first game where you played against the uh, Arkansas Fort Smith, three to one win. And you were telling me um, a little bit off camera that this was a huge win just for your ladies, just to get everything going and get some belief in your team. Absolutely. We uh, we kind of have this old young team and um, the younger kids kind of coming in and saying, hey. We can do this, and then the older kids give them the stability and the leadership. So uh, it's a huge step for us in our program, I think, with this generation, uh, with the leaders coming back and kind of, you know, showing them how to do it, and then the younger kids just bringing the energy. Yeah. Definitely. So what stood out for you? Because looking at the stats, obviously All-American Katie Klein with 11 kills. You could kind of expect that. But there's some other ladies as well that you saw that really stepped up too. Yeah. One of our uh, competitive leaders now is Yagoda. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to try and pronounce her last name. But, uh, but she's just uh, kind of like the fiery middle linebacker personality type on the court for us. And uh, and she got the stuff block to finish the whole match. So so she turned around and celebrated with her teammates. And then the other player that helped out quite a bit was Kelsey Green, who's another freshman and from uh, Nebraska. And and she was solid all weekend. And then then bumped her head a little bit later. And so so she's going to be out for maybe a week or so. But uh, but we're looking forward to her career here as well. Definitely. Yeah. And you also have two ladies as well, Caitlin Martinez as well as Cedar Bellows. Combined for 11 kills, definitely something that uh, it really helps out with the offense. It kind of takes the pressure off of Katie as well. Yeah, and uh, Caitlin was a, a little bit of a surprise where she's been chipping away and trying to get on the court, and uh, she got an opportunity and jumped all over it. She really did a nice job and and showed this like composure, you know, for the moment where we were like. Yeah, let's go, Caitlin. You know, that's, it. that's yeah. it. So again, a three to one winner against Arkansas Fort Fort Smith, the twenty first ranked team in Division Two, and and all the teams that you played against in the Colorado Premier Challenge were um, in the NCAA tournament from a year ago. So it was great, I would imagine, to get that experience to play against those like really really good teams. So important for us as we make our stretch run for the RMAC tournament, as well as trying to get into the NC two A's, um, and you know down the road we may see some of these teams so so really good experience for us all right yeah. so you won the first game but then the second game you played against number two uh willing jesuit um and uh didn't go as well um they won three sets uh, to none and again when you take a look at a team like that even though it didn't go your favor there's still a lot that you could learn from that game absolutely we um saw the team that won the championship last year and we kind of saw okay this is what it takes to win a championship and, and for all the young kids, it's kind of like, all right, now put that in the back of your memory. And, and so when we're working hard, when you're working in the spring or in the summer on your own, th this is what you, you're aiming for. And, uh, and really, we, we did okay against them, considering all the factors, and we played pretty clean. They just were able to score more, you know? They were just better than us at this point in time. Well, whatever yeah. whatever pep talk that you have must have worked because day two, and as you go to the silver bracket of the Colorado Premier Challenge here, end up beating uh, St. Leo University um, by a score of three to one, uh, three matches to one, and definitely had a lot of great things happen. And uh, my thing that I want to talk about is Jack Williamson um, with 29 assists and 14 digs, a career day for her, doing very well, I would imagine, for you. Yeah. and. and Jack's had a, a great career here, although spotty with injury. And so it's so nice to see her come back and, and, and step into the role as our setter, kind of like our, our quarterback, so to speak. And uh, really did a nice job stabilizing our team. And, and I felt like during the match, um, you know, we were, we were going to win this. And, and you, could, you could feel it from the team, uh, even though we dropped the third set and came back and won the fourth. There is a certain sense of confidence and composure, and a lot of that stemmed from Jack. And as we go to the championship game of the silver bracket, you played against uh, the sixth-ranked uh, Central Missouri, and um, didn't fare too well, um, losing three sets to none as well in the, the nightcap. But again, 
you could talk about so many different things that this team has learned that even though you didn't win the championship there, you still get, well, came away with a lot of great experience. Right, yeah. We, uh, uh, Kelsey Green, the, the outside here, had bumped her head the previous match, mm. so, so she was out, and we just didn't quite pick it up enough. And I think the toll of the tournament kind of wore on us. And that was the only, uh, the couple sets, sets two and three against Central Missouri, were really probably the only sets that I was disappointed with our effort. Uh, but overall, the weekend was great, and, and we learned a lot going forward. All right, so going two and two in the Colorado Premier Challenge. Regis University was just this close away from taking away the championship in the silver bracket, but it's not too bad going 2-2 two two overall, 4-4 four four, um, in the overall record as well. When we return, we're going to talk about, well, the RMAC as well, and now we're going to the conference play, and these games really count, and got a nice game coming up against Metro State as well as UCCS, so we'll talk about that. Justin Adams with Frank LaVisha, we'll be right back. And welcome back to the Rangers Coaches Show. Justin Adams as well with volleyball head coach Frank Lavisha. And again, we talk about the Colorado Premier Challenge, the segment before, but now it's time to go into conference play as we go and face some uh, pretty tough opponents in the RMAC. And the first one you have is your crosstown rival in Metro State. I know you want this game. I know your ladies are ready for this game. What do you have to do to come away with the victory? You know, I think uh, just building on the momentum from our two tournaments that we opened the season with, the Premier certainly, and we've identified a lot of the roles our different players have to play. Um, and then uh, different players stepping up. So Katie Klein leading us on the court, uh, Maggie Stewart, who's also co-captain, she needs to make sure that she's ready to go and lead us in that respect. Um, and then uh, playing at Metro is certainly a challenge, and uh, they've got a new coach, Jenny Glenn, mm -hmm. and so we want to make sure that we, uh, we, we welcome her into the conference in the appropriate manner. Welcome her correctly <laughs> with a loss. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but the, we know they're going to be ready, and they always are, and, and these matches, no matter how each team is doing, they're always competitive matches. and. Uh, but we're, we're very excited and uh, to be able to just feature one match a day and really prepare for it and go after it. You've done a great job over 700 wins here, but what have you seen that has been the best that has worked out for the ladies to really get them to focus in on both games as well? I know we talked a little bit about it, but mm -hmm. just to zone in more, just for um, our audience as well who, you know, playing back-to-back -back games, again, you may be able to look at one team as you were talking mm -hmm. about earlier, but how are you able to really zone in and have them fully prepared for both opponents? You know, I think, uh, Justin, the key is uh, that the players, the team owns what they're about and what they're trying to accomplish. And, and so whatever is thrown at them, whether it's um, a certain opponent, whether it's uh, situations like injuries and stuff like that, whatever's thrown at them, they deal with and they kind of reorganize, reset themselves, and then go after the next hurdle, the next challenge. So, so I think so much is about the ownership of the team and what they're about and what they're trying to accomplish. The goal is always to win the RMAC, no matter you know, who you play in non-conference. Mm -hmm. um, how important is it just to get off to a fast start, especially with two games on the road, mm -hmm. to come away with two victories? You know, it, uh, just like our, our first win against uh, Fort Smith in the tournament, kind of the same thing. You know, it sets a tone. It, uh, the players recognize what it takes, you know, to do well and, and to jump on another team and, and take care of things. You know, it, uh, it, so much of it is about, you know, the, uh, the initial takeoff. And, and just like uh, CU beating CSU That's right. know, to start That's off the right. season. Go Buffs. You know, <laughs> those, those kinds of things are so important, and, and it sets such a standard for the rest of the year. So, so I think uh, it goes back to the team and, okay, how are we going to handle this? You know, we're going to set a tone for, for the whole season. We're not going to wait and see what the other team does. We're going we're gonna to put our best out there and jump all over it. And that is volleyball head coach Frank Lavisha. Again, we're 
having a lot of great things going on. Um, the Regis Rangers will go um, cross town and it will face Metro State, the Road Runners, and that game will start on Friday at 7 p.m. And then the following day, we'll travel down to Colorado Springs and take on the UCCS Mountain Lions, and that game will start at 5 p.m. So yet again, for everyone here at uh, Regis University, I'm Justin Adams saying thank you so much for joining us on the Rangers Coaches Show. And next week, we have something special for you as well. We'll get a chance to talk to the golf team as well as cross country. And I don't know if you know this, Frank, but there was a young lady who hit a hole in one during the tournament. Oh, I did ago. read that. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's right. Yeah. We're going to talk all about that and give yeah. you some more. But before we go, let's make sure that we break down a couple of the highlights that we had of the previous week and also give you a couple of results and the scores as well. So yet again, for everyone here at Regis University, I'm Justin Adams saying so long and we'll speak to you next week.